Hey guys, welcome to Let's Swim, it's Liam here. Uh, today we are going to teach you guys the main trick to swimming, which is being comfortable in the water and understanding what makes you float and what makes you sink. I'm gonna introduce the superstar to this channel. Obviously it's not me, you guys don't keep watching just to see me. Um, but remember, if you haven't liked us, if you haven't subscribed, make sure you do, uh, especially if you yourself are learning to swim or potentially teaching your child to swim. So let's introduce you to the real rock star the real superstar of the show which is my son Hi. Grayson okay so like I said we're gonna learn how to float the importance of one major factor I'm not gonna tell you what it is you're gonna just have to watch to work that out so let me just flip it over here first of all Grayson you're gonna have a big breath and just float on your tummy on the spot Beautiful as you can see there guys, sitting nice and high in the water, nice and flat, and then stand up. This time buddy, without telling anybody what you're going to do, you're going to sink to the bottom of the pool uh, without using your arms and without using your legs. Where you go. And if you can see what he's doing there guys. All right, buddy. So tell everybody what you did before you floated, floated, before you had a float on the top of the water. What was the main thing that I asked you to do before I asked you to float? Uh, you spread my arms out. No, have a big breath. breath. And then what was the thing that you did to sink to the bottom of the pool? Blow bubbles. Blow bubbles. So. What we're going to do now guys is I'm just going to get Grayson to have a big breath and I'm going to get him to float as a ball in the water and I want you to see how buoyant his body is, okay? So back to the superstar, have a big breath buddy and we're going to do a ball float. So big breath, way you go. So floating on the spot you can see as I push him down to the bottom of the pool. He naturally pops up to the surface because he has air in his system okay so what made you float there buddy why were you floating because i was in a ball ball and you had a huge breath right so the way i like to explain this to kids is if you are a balloon and a balloon full of helium it usually floats up into the sky right if you pop that balloon it sinks to the bottom of the pool. Same thing happens in the water. To be really, really comfortable, to float, big breath, hold on to it, and then like Grayson did earlier, to sink to the bottom of the pool, pop that balloon, blow all the bubbles, exhale, and sink on down. So we're gonna get Grayson to demonstrate that sink to the bottom of the pool again, without using his arms and without using his legs. Are you ready, champ? All right, have a big breath to start, big float, away you go. In a ball? No, you can just do the star float. And he blows bubbles, blow bubbles, you can see those bubbles, you can see him start to sink. So if you think the superstar's done a great job, then you have to put some comments uh, in the comments section below. Uh, hope that makes sense to be a really successful swimmer. We have to be comfortable in the water. To be a successful swimmer through the water, we want to be able to control that breath, whether it's holding it to stay more buoyant in the water, or to sink to the bottom of the pool, or dive to the bottom of the pool, to get objects off the bottom of the pool. We like to pop that balloon, blow bubbles, and sink on down. What um, do you think, buddy? Good. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe, and when you comment, uh, make sure to uh, Tell us what you want to learn. That's a good point, buddy. Swimming. Excellent. So like he said, like, subscribe, turn on your notifications, guys. If there's something that you really want to learn about where to progress yourself or to pro progress your child swimming, put it in the comments and we will make those videos for you. So it's time to let's swim. Go get it.